Thanks for having me. I've been around PLP for over 30 years. And prior to that, I worked for Bell Canada and I was an outside plant cable splicer. So I've had my, uh, uh, my dealings with can wrenches over the years, more than 40 actually. Well, the can wrench was designed long before I started at Bell Canada. Uh, when I got there, there was all kinds of different ones. Uh, the can wrench was predicated on using a multi-purpose tool or an all-in-one for all of the hardware that was associated with a can. And the can, for typical terms today, we would call it a pedestal. They're designed again for security purposes. And if you look at a can wrench versus a socket, the wall thickness on the can wrench is somewhat thinner than a standard socket is. That's because the socket will not fit. So the guy that's in the neighborhood can't just arbitrarily take out a socket out of his toolbox and open a can, open a can or open a pedestal. The thin wall of the can wrench allows you to get into that secure feature and open it up. Can wrenches have been around for a long time. I've been in the industry over 40 years and the can wrenches were there long before I got there. As a matter of fact, I've got a real old one here that was given to me by a splicer from the Vietnam era. And these can wrenches are older than I am. Well, because I'm in the communications industry, um, I've always had a fascination with can wrenches. I used them and I always looked at different types of can wrenches for different jobs because of the way it fits in your hand and the uh, available torque that comes. Some of them are just because I thought they were really neat and they were gifted to me, so I wanted to make sure that I, uh, I kept them. Like this, this really old one that I was gifted, it actually has a special purpose as well. It's got a spring load in it and there's a screwdriver that's inserted inside that unit and that was to utilize for hardware uh, you wanted to protect the hardware so it had the set screwdriver so that you could tighten up but also protect so you wouldn't slip off. So it had a multi-function as well. And if you didn't use the screwdriver, you would just insert it, turn it around, put the spring back in place, and it locked it into position. There are different types of can wrenches and different types of materials, but the insert or the middle piece is always predicated on something that's insulation. Right, so that if there's any stray current on any of the wire work that you're working on or close in close proximity to, you don't want to get shocked every time you worked on it. So they made this uh, an insulation material. And they've grown over the years, much like the communications products have changed over the years and they have advanced. A lot of the tools tried to incorporate more than just the 7 16 and 3 8 head drives. So this one, in, for instance, it has uh, a wire stripper on it. And it also has an attachment that comes with it so that you can put it in for opening secure screw type uh, fixtures that they have in certain terminals in the communications industry. On the can wrenches, one of the things to keep in mind about a really good can wrench is it's got um, a bolt tile style pattern on the outside so that if you needed added torque, you could use an open-ended wrench and tighten or loosen something that was really overly tightened. You'll see on a standard socket, that doesn't work. You can't do that on a standard socket, so what you have is what you get. Keep in mind the can wrench was designed many, many years ago, but it's a common tool in all of the communications guys' tool belt. So what PLP did, for instance, is we started designing our closures and our products to accept the can wrench as an operational tool. So for instance, on the end plate of our dome closures, on the segmented end plate, we have a 7 16 drive that works for the can wrench. It also works the 3 8 on any of the closing hardware and on your strength member brackets, as well as your hose clamps. And even on the ATC, any of the closing hardware is 3 8 on all three bolts on the splice side of the ATC. Thanks for watching. This has been PLP's Ask the Experts.